Hello. Ah, well, as uh, Shark Week is um, <clears throat> concluding this weekend, uh, I thought, why not talk about uh, shark movies? I kind of alluded to that before, and um, we're at the very end of that last video I did for this series, so I thought, why not? And, well, I'm not going to talk a whole, about a whole lot of them. I, I'm going to talk about some of the movies I have. Um, obviously, there's Jaws, uh, the classic film, classic horror film, suspense film, whatever you want to put it in, thriller, it's just a classic movie. Um, this is the, essentially the epitome of shark films. I think people can agree with that. It's, it's the whole standard uh, for shark movies, and even animal movies in general. Um, there's a rip-off, or at least very heavily inspired film, starring Richard Harris called Orca, where an orca goes and uh, kills people. There's also a film called Grizzly, which has a bear. And then there's like other movies with various animals, but there have been a lot of shark movies. Um, I don't have a shark NATO, but I have seen those films. Um, yeah. Um, they are, uh, they are, they're something. Um, some say they're so bad they're good. Some people just say they're bad, or they are good. Because some people just like bad movies. Um, but, you know, hey, whatever. Uh, people like what they like. Um, uh, Deep Blue Sea is a film that, uh, quite interesting. Um, it's a movie that, uh, well, by no means a masterpiece. Um, it is entertaining with genetically engin uh, engineered, uh, or altered sharks, not engineered. I think it says on the brain. Uh, trying to solve Alzheimer's disease uh, with the sharks, but yeah, things don't go well. Plus, you got Samuel L. Jackson here, so that's always a, a good time, interesting time. Uh, radar for graphic shark attacks in language. And then here's another film, uh, Shark Night. Uh, I actually saw this in the theater, and um, that was something. Um, the guy who made Snakes on a Plane in Final Destination. Uh, the Final Destination. But that's the fourth film, I believe. Yeah. It's also that director's last uh, movie, uh, David R. Ellis. Yeah, it's his last movie. Uh, I saw this in 2D. This was, it's even called Shark Knight 3D. But, yeah. Basically, there's a Louisiana lake house with a bunch of sharks in it, and it's like, well, hey, various sharks in a lake going around eating people. Uh, well, they're just fall right there, that's fine. This is a movie called uh, Shark Water, it's a documentary, actually, and uh, there's, gonna, there's gonna be a sequel to this, um, Unfortunately, the director passed away during the making of it. Uh, so, uh, I guess it's basically finished now in terms of filming uh, what they were going to do. I'm sure there's going to be more stuff to film, but I guess since he was the director and writer and producer, pretty much of the whole thing. I don't know. I guess they're... It's, being edited now. No release date uh, set at this moment in time. Um, but yeah, it's it's quite interesting, uh, to say at the very least. Uh, I didn't mind this. I uh, thought it was pretty good. And now uh, here's a film called uh, 
open, you know, open water. I'm sure m many of you people watching this know this film. You know, to a couple gets, uh, you know, they're going on a they're scuba, they're scuba diving with a bunch of people, and they, the people on board miscounted, and uh, these two were left uh, left out in the sea. And uh, their bodies were never found. Um, they are assumed to have like, drowned or um, might have been eaten by sharks, either like afterwards or maybe even uh, <clears throat> during. Uh, or maybe that's how they die. Like they didn't drown, but they just got attacked by sharks. Quite suspenseful. Um, you know, it's based on true events. It's, do the best they can with the story, um, since we don't truly know what all happened. You know, you know, they, neither of them are alive, or at least not that we know of. Um, they're basically uh, has been presumed dead. They have not. They have not at all uh, been found or have been said to be alive, so fortunately it seems they've passed away. Very unfortunate, um, but that does unfor that does happen. Um, and this is uh, 12 Days of Terror, like, you know, the events that inspired the film Jaws. I know some, uh, like even bigger events, say, no, this, these events didn't really spire of the book um, like other series of attacks did um, but at least with the film I think this was a very big inspiration for it uh, at least with the movie um, the book can be debated I guess all you want um, but this is a very good movie I think this is a, one of the best shark movies uh, like since Jaws I didn't, you know, open water is very good. Um, Shark Night is alright. Uh, you know, Deep Blue Sea. It's a, it's like a fun movie. Uh, it's, some say it's a B movie. You know, all right, sure, fair enough. But you know, this is a very good movie. Uh, it's rated PG thirteen. They just, they basically try and show the attacks the best you can. Um, now they use a great white shark um, for uh, the attacks, all of them. Though the Smithsonian did like a special or there's like a series that is on the Smithsonian channel that I think if you have like their streaming service or have access to it and you can watch it, they, I can't recall exactly, but I saw it on the Smithsonian channel some time ago. Um, but they did conclude, like, the last person who got attacked by a shark and these events, um, they concluded that, you know, uh, the attacks, the bite marks, uh, look, uh, look to be more of a bull shark than a great white. Because some th say a great white, uh, entered, uh, the creek. And I'm, I'm kind of being a bit, uh, vague here, but... I think people who have seen Jaws and even Shark Week have an idea of what this film's about. You know, it's about the 1916 attacks, especially, basically inspired Jaws, the film, at least. And, uh, yeah. And it's a very good uh, depiction of the film, or, or of the events. You know, might not be the most perfect, exactly, but, I mean, hey, yeah, this is like the only movie there is. Um, this was aired on Animal Planet, I remember, because I taped it in 2004. And, uh, it aired on Animal Planet. I still have that tape. So, uh, yeah. It was quite cool. It was quite interesting to see. Um, 
I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed this movie. I really do. Um, they have like a timeline terror or terror timeline, and there's the likely culprit. Like they kind of just go and it's it's quite interesting. This DVD is good. So if you like Jaws and you are interested in sharks or anything, I think you could watch this. It's a very good movie. Same with Open Water and Shark Water. Those are I recommend those. Shark Night and Deep Blue Sea, you can watch, I'd say, uh, if you want. Um, Deep Blue Sea also has some other notable people, aside from Samuel Jackson. That's Thomas Jane, LL Cool J, Michael Rappaport, Stellan Skarsgård, Safarin Burroughs, Jacqueline McKenzie, Quite a, quite a film. Um, now, basically, I kind of wanted to just kind of conclude this by saying, you know, a lot of shark films echo Jaws, or they try to emulate Jaws, pretty much mostly failing. You know, the Jaws sequels basically fail. Um, the only good Jaws sequel to me is the second film. Three and four are not good. They're not very good at all, in my opinion. Um, they're worse than the first two. Yeah, the second film is actually, you know, it's uh, unnecessary. I don't want to say blah, because I just said it was good. It was an unnecessary sequel, but I mean, you have Roy Scheider, you've got Lorraine Gary, Murray Hamilton. You've got some key people from the first film back, so it's like, okay, you know, it's in the right direction. Jaws 3, they're in They're just in, you know, they're in, um, oh, <laughs> Sea World, Water World, yeah, Sea World. Sea World, Sea World. Yep, yep, yep. It was in SeaWorld, and it was in 3D, and to me, I actually kind of think the third film is actually worse, because uh, them wanting to make the movie in 3D, because Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D came out, they're like, let's do the, something like that, let's kind of capitalize on this resurgence of 3D, and there was the Amityville Horror 3D. And I think with that in mind, they focus too much on the 3D aspects and the actual story. And they seem to not really acknowledge the first two movies. There's really one moment where you get a sense of a reference of the first two films. And um, Sean is talking to Leah Thompson. Uh, Sean Brody's talking to Leah Thompson's character, and he's afraid to go in the water. He is, you know, he's afraid, uh, you know, because of what happened in the first two films when he was a kid and the shark attacks. Understandable, but then you know he, uh, he did, uh, yeah, he. D they don't really say anything except like, oh, "Why are you afraid to go in the water?" Uh, like something happened when I was a kid. Like that's as close as we really get. He basically says that, I know those might not be the exact words, but it's like, that's a sentiment. It's like, you could have said something else, but, or continue to kind of allude to the first two films, but okay, whatever. Jaws 4 was said to be the actual Jaws 3. People didn't seem to, you know, enjoy the third film. So, you know, uh, that doesn't really count. Here's Jaws The Revenge. Um, kind of a dumb, pretty much a dumb title, but okay. It's The Revenge. Well, I thought the shark died in the first movie. And same thing, now they're trying to do this whole voodoo thing. 
curse or in the book they have this subplot with this voodoo thing and there's this curse put upon the Brody family and that's why in the very beginning uh, Sean got killed and, uh, spoilers spoiler alert the youngest Brody's son dies I'm sure many of you have already seen that but you know it's just I don't know, the last two of the Jaw series aren't good it's like they try to piggyback on the name, and that's really it. I do think Jaws 4 is a bit better, but that's not saying much. Um, uh, and the reason is, I don't know, I mean, they acknowledge the events of the first two films pretty much. They acknowledge... Roy Scheider's absence. He was supposed to be in the movie, but if he was in the movie, he wasn't going to be the person to get killed in the beginning. Do you thought, no. And I think that's one thing. They seem to acknowledge the previous installments. While they don't acknowledge the third film at all, since you know, this is supposed to be the actual third film. Kind of confusing, I guess. Really, yeah. But, okay, whatever. It's kind of a mess at this point, but at least you're acknowledging the first two movies, which were good. Uh, but, yeah. I, I could go on and on about that, but I just, like, I'm not. I don't know. I want to keep this short. Basically, shark movies. Stick with Jaws, pretty much. Or 12 Days of Terror and Open Water. Saw this in the theater, and. At the very end, something happens like a jump scare. You know, whoa. I don't know. Jump scares seem to be all the rage in horror films. But I remember this old dude who, if he had a beard, it would look like Santa. When this happened, he goes like, oh, shit. I'm like, I'm like, that's your reaction to that. It's just, oh, shit. Okay, well. You know, whatever. Yeah. That was that was quite an experience uh, to see in the theater, to say the least. Um, I'm not too fond of 3D films, um, so I didn't see that in 3D because I'm like, Neh. why bother? Might be cheesy and all that, so uh, don't want to pay the extra bucks to see that in 3D, but Jaws, great classic film, <clears throat> uh, I always love watching it, um, and uh, tonight on uh, after Shark Week, uh, they're playing Jaws on the Discovery Channel, followed by Jaws 2, and then tomorrow, Jaws 3 and 4. We oh boy the bad ones. But anyway, um, as you can tell, I'm sharked out here. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Shark movies. Some might be just cheesy, cheesy fun. Some are just downright bad. And some are great films, classics. So. Yeah, I know I'm probably not help much, but I don't know. Talking about some shark movies. There's just so many shark movies that uh, honestly, it's just it's like you, you I don't know. You could fill an entire room, uh, pretty much. I guess with sh all the amount of shark movies there are, so. I guess shark movies seem to be, uh, in terms of animal f horror films, the most frequent and most thought of. of hmm. uh, Jaws is popular. Let's just make an animal movie and have a shark. Oh, all right. And then the plot is just some dumb thing with at times they like rip off Jaws. There's a film called Great White. That's what happened. They ripped off Jaws even so much they used actual footage, I believe. Yep. It's 
never released in North America and got blocked uh, due to accusations of plagiarism from Jaws. However, the movie. Yeah, those two are similar from Jaws, so got blocked. It's an Italian film, originally called The Last Shark. Seems to be having a sort of a cult following. You can watch, uh, you can get the movie, I guess, on DVD or so. Restore colors and special features like a documentary. Uh, well, there you go. If you find that movie, you can yeah, you can watch that. See a plagiarized version of Jaws that Universal successfully blocked in America or North America to be more precise. Um, hey, I guess if you want to make a shark movie and you don't seem to have a true idea for yourself of what to make it about. Rip off Jaws. Plagiarize Jaws. <sighs> yes. I don't know why, I just, that amused me. Just reading, I knew that, but just rereading, that just kind of makes me, makes me amused. Anyway, that's really all I got to say uh, at the moment. Uh, Maybe you found this interesting. Maybe you thought it was a waste of time. I can see either way. I can see both arguments. Can't really talk about a lot of shark movies. And that's the name of this like episode video about shark movies. Well, I talked about some of these, and I uh, just said there's so many shark movies they just rip off Jaws. Really, I mean, I could have just said that. And that would have been it. But what would the point be? Anyway, uh, so yeah, those are some of the movies I've got, uh, shark-related. I do have the other Jaws films, but uh, it's really worth it. We're just talking about the first one, really. Jaws 2 is pretty good, but eh, I just wanted to vent my disappointment with 3 and 4 in particular. So there you go. I could have go into more in-depth with that, but eh. I think we all would rather that not be the case. At least I would, right now. So, I wanted to keep it being positive as much as possible. So, there you go. Uh, it's been longer than I anticipated, but yeah, that seems to be the story of this channel. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know if you thought it was interesting share it perhaps I can just share it on social media all I want if somebody likes it hey, maybe you can do it maybe you can share but you don't have to you're not obligated so until uh, next time uh, have a good weekend and uh, yeah hope you've enjoyed Shark Week it's been kind of interesting, to say the least. Alright, bye.